Greetings, happy hello, happy hello. So I have a question for you. When is the last time that you have given of your time and effort? Better yet, when have you tagged team? Like, you know, you and one or two of your friends, when have you actually tag team a volunteer effort with someone whom you love and respect? You know, I think it's a wonderful idea to volunteer with people that you know and love. And I have done this on several occasions from the building the homes um, scenario, uh, walkathons, etc., cleaning out closets and donating to uh, different locations that actually need clothing. And then also uh, actually selling to make profits and such of the things that uh, I'm no longer needing or no longer have a desire for. So basically, I think that it's a wonderful idea to volunteer with people that you know and love. They basically serve as your accountability partners, if you will. Someone that even though you may not need an accountability partner, it does make a difference when other people can remind you and, and you know, they're all excited about going and looking forward to it and, you know, and reminding you, okay, come on, we have another day left. We have another week or it's almost that time. Oh, I'm excited. Maybe you can dress up in the same types of shirts, the same color scheme or something just to make it fun. Just add a little extra flair to it. So this assignment has to do with deciding upon a volunteering effort, right? You want to volunteer and you want to decide among the lot of you, right? Decide on that effort. And an effort should be pleasing to you. It should be something that you love and enjoy. And the whole idea, obviously, is to give of yourself to others. Uh, but also to have fun with this. As usual, you should have fun with this. The exercise should not feel like a chore, okay? It shouldn't be like something that you're dreading to do and barely want to do it. Like, there's so many options out there to choose from. Check your local area, check volunteer.com, check, there are so many different sites, uh, different areas, especially lo in your local area, that you can actually check to see what they have available. The city also sends out, at least local here to where I reside, there is a list that goes out every so often, uh, maybe once a month, at least that's what it seems to be um, for me at this current date. But it actually, that from the, that letter, that email that comes from the city actually provides a list of things that are going on. And oftentimes when I look at that list of activities and such that are going on within the city, there's also a mention or a link to the a volunteer effort, a volunteer group, etc. So I would just recommend that for you and and your your crew, your friends, your family, someone that that you love and someone that's and I say that because we obviously can be you know, well, you want to do it with friends or family, but again, you want to make sure that you do it with someone that's going to hold you accountable, someone that's that's really going to get into this and enjoy it, okay? Uh, you should have a blast. Rather, you all should have a blast. Make it a day of enjoyment and productivity. If you would like to make it more interesting, I would encourage you all as a group to actually select maybe more than one type of volunteer effort okay so just really consider this it just really makes me feel so much more productive happy about my decision to go and volunteer for whatever effort that I volunteer for but when I'm able able to help others with my effort of you know just giving and and just being so thoughtful and considerate in that way it just makes it feel like I'm always receiving so much more on such a larger scale. Although I do it for the love and enjoyment of blessing other people, I, I do definitely still receive in the process. And so it's just it just does do the heart good to be able to help other people. So at any rate, 
In conclusion, I would encourage you all as a group to decide on what you're going to do, even if it's just two of you. If you can't find anyone to tag team this effort with, do it, do it alone. There's nothing wrong with that. But take pictures and such. And, um, you know, this will be a memory that you'll be able to cherish. And, and maybe you've already started doing this thing. Maybe this has been who you are and a part of your nature. But if, you, if it is something you've been doing, continue. I would encourage you, obviously, to continue doing it and invite others along the way and have them come in and share the experience with you. And so basically, you all can make this a recurring thing do it every quarter once a month biannually it, it whatever you decide to do just just make it something that is enjoyable this is just an excellent way to create some very beautiful very wonderful memories all right so enjoy